Alright guys, I ain't got to fish much in the last little while uh, with some stuff that's going on and work and everything else and, and plus uh, the boat trailer. Uh, I had a, my boat trailer was, was uh, getting bad but I went and bought another one and, and done some fabrication on it. So let me show you what we what I've done here. It overlooked the mess. My son left in one of his buddy's trucks over there so he got to is uh, kind of in a mess right now but this is the uh, trailer that I had bought to replace the old one and we went fishing today and that's my drift sock hanging up right out of the ground every time I get home from using it I uh, hang it up and let it dry so it won't mold but uh, this trailer here is a good trailer and uh, we've done a lot of work to it to make it like I wanted it so it would fit mine, fit my boat. <coughs> what I've done is went through under the undercarriage and cut all these right here off. I cut every one of them off and I put them on there the length that I need. They, they're shorter in the back and get taller as they come this way. Them three back there well, them other two back there are, are uh, different lengths. Every one of these different lengths. It starts out short back there and comes up. <clears throat> and uh, these uh, bumps on the side, I took them off the old trailer and uh, welded them on there. This now this thing sits up a whole lot, a whole lot lower. It sits down in the trailer. It don't sit high. And. Uh, this old trailer had wood on this side right here. This bar right here wasn't here, but these two sidebars was. So I took the wood off. I put a bar right here. So now the only thing you need to do to get in the boat is step right here, and you can step on this, and you can hold on to this, and you can climb right in now the boat with ease. It's real easy. And uh, I did take this section right here off of the other boat, this whole assembly right here off the other trailer and put on here. That, I like that system right there real well. So I just I just put that on there. Now, there's not nothing wrong with these lights, but I am, I ordered all new lights for it. All LED lights and, and I'm gonna rewire it. The whole, the whole caboodle right there. And, uh, like I say, that's how it sits under there, and I redone the carpet on the runners. And uh, but I did move them posts out. Like I said, I replaced them all, but I moved them out where they fit on my boat, where they don't sit on no rib. And of course, I adjusted everything to where when I drive up on it, it's flush in the back. See, you can see what the end of the boat is right there for when the, for where the tub starts at these uh, these uh, aluminum pods. And like I say, this thing sits a whole lot lower. It sits probably about eight or ten inches lower lower on the boat. So, like I say, we just got back from fishing on Murray. It was a tough fishing day, and and. Uh, I used a little bit of blood before we cut up a gar, was trying gar for bait just, just to see what happened. But uh, that trailer ended up working out real good and replaced the hubs in it just so when I when I do hook to it I can go anywhere across the state and not have to worry about nothing happening. So uh, that's part of the reason why I hadn't been doing as many videos and stuff but we're back on track now and like i say we went for a good test run today so it, it done perfect so so uh and i'll uh, put a picture of the other trailer on here what it happened what it happened to it and uh why i was kind of uh why i needed to to uh redo the trailer so and you can you can find these you know good steel trailers like this for about five six seven hundred bucks and uh, like i say they work they work real good and i'll show you the problem with the other one
So uh, let me, uh, I'm gonna walk out here to the other trailer and I'll get a video on it. And I'll uh, get us back on here. The new boat trailer, Mr. Doug. We're going to go load it on it. Okay, guys. I'm back here at the boat trailer, the other one. And uh, I parked it back here just about in the woods, back here out of the way. But uh, this trailer right here is a, a load right trailer. And what I had problem with is that this thing broke right down in here you see how this metal is folded out right there it broke right there in that seam broken half right there and it done the same thing on this side over here and I had to be down at Lake Murray down there in the, at the big water down there and I had to call my son to bring my welder up here to, uh, to the boat ramp we had to take a jack and jack it up Weld a plate right here, across through here, and weld these arms right here on there. These trailers are not made to last long. Uh, they are made out of thin material. Look how much this thing gives in the middle. These trailers right here, from experience, when you buy a boat, pay special attention to the trailer. Everything on this thing is bolted to be adjustable. And that's not that's not uh, a, a good thing. Um, and you can see all these runners right here. They're just see everything being hard welded to fit the trailer. And I even had to go through before then. And I had to put angle steel under it. To, to put the new wood on top of it, and grant you, this trailer ain't five years old. It was five years old, and I had to replace all of that. All that right there, and then put three inch angle under it to uh, strengthen strengthen it up. And it's, you know, small axles, and small springs, and this thing set up way too high, but everything on this thing is made just to just to say you a trailer that you can put in and in and out of the water but uh, be sure when you buy a boat that you get something with a good trailer now grant you this right here come off of the other trailer that i bought i just stuck it on here because i don't need that on the on the other trailer but, uh, that's just 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 something to look at when you're buying a boat which i you know i've had my boat five years Five, well, this particular boat, I've had it five, six years. So, uh, just pay, uh, uh, just pay special attention to the trailers, because the trailer is, is is the life of the boat too, to get you back and forth to the water. So, so uh, just keep that in mind, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this little video, a little bit of piece of advice.